Is this recipe guaranteed to make even the biggest Karen happy? No, you can't see the manager. You live here. Did you just give me a one-star review? Ba -ba 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 -ba, Leo cooks things, I cook things. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make roasted and marinated bell peppers and some homemade tortillas. 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 The popper of the surf. The jester of tortilla. David Jones Laka. What? Let's get to it. First up. We're going to start by charring our red bell peppers. And remember, the best way to char red bell peppers is to simply toss it into the fires of Mount Doom. Why shouldn't I keep you? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Set your oven to broil. Pop, 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 pop. A little bit of olive oil on our peppers. Just a little bit. Give them a nice rub down. Give them a nice rub down. Provocative. Now we're just gonna char these under the broiler. Oh, hi, hot stuff. Moving on. Now we're gonna make our marinade. Where's a the bowl? There's a bowl. Let's make our marinade. Classic. We're gonna start by mincing two Ooh. oily fingers. All done. Into the bowl. Whoop, you go. Nice. We're gonna do about a quarter cup of olive oil as well. I'm also gonna add in two and a half tablespoons of motor oil. Just kidding, it's soy sauce. Yeah, it's soy sauce. And then three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Just don't use Snapple cider vinegar. I don't consent to that flavor. And we're also gonna do one tablespoon about of maple syrup. One for you, one for me. Next up, we're gonna use some pure sesame oil. And if the cap is a little bit too tight, here's a cool trick. Open sesame. Ah, oh, fuck. Note to self, stop dabbling in dark magic. Two teaspoons of sesame oil. And that's our marinade. Boop, 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 boop. Now let's take out our peppers. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh, looks like these peppers didn't have the high ground. Cool off. While we wait on those guys, let's make a crunchy topping. We're gonna start by using some cumin seeds. What do you get if you plant cumin seeds? And now we wait. That's why we use miracle Grow. Oh, that turned out to be a dirty joke. Woo! So I'm gonna do medium low heat here. We're gonna do about one tablespoon of cumin seeds here. Yeah. Then we're gonna toast them up until they're fragrant. We're gonna toast our cumin seeds. Woo, those smell good. Transfer them to a mortar and pestle and then crush them up real nice. What's the angriest nut of all time? Pissed ashios. Roast your pistachios. Transfer your roasted pistachios into your mortar and pestle and now crush it all together. Pinch of salt. Do one final little toastage to crunch everything up together. Crunchy stuff for later. Let's prep our peps. So the skin should be pretty easy to remove. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty effing easy. Get rid of all those seeds. You don't need the seeds. Hot to the touch. It's so satisfying when that skin comes off. If there's one thing I love to do, it's removing skin. So here I'm gonna just cut it into decent chunks. Like, this is good. This is a good size. Little pepper lanyards. Little lanyards of pepper. Peppers have been prepped. Pepper peppers. Then we're gonna lay down all these peppers down. Lay down all the pepper downs. Pepper downs. Pepper downs. Pepper dance. Now just take your marinade and pour it over everything. Make sure everything gets a nice coverage. Boop, 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 boop. Let it marinate for about an hour and then you'll see what happens. Why did the tortilla take singing lessons? Because he was flatbread. But then he took some classes and now he can sing. Let's make some tortillas. We're gonna start with about two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm lard and in charge. Do you wanna build a lard man? About one and a half tablespoons of lard. And about the same amount of butter. 
There we go. Do you wanna build a snowman? Now mix it all up. Give it a good mixing. Then I'm gonna add about three quarter cups of warm water. It's good to be needy sometimes. I'm gonna chop this into eight, about. Whoop, one, two, four, three, four. So now we're gonna roll them into little tiny balls. Little tiny balls of fun. Now cover them with a damp towel for 20 minutes and then we'll get back to them after. Let's chop some garnishes while we wait, huh? A little bit of chillantro. I'm Serrano de Bergerac. That's right, ladies. I'm cultured. Super thin slices of serrano peppers. I need a rolling pin. If they're not perfect, it's no big deal, guys. The first one's never super pretty, it's fine. Easy peasy tortilla lemon squeezy. What? Look how poofy it is. Look, look, it's getting poofy. And now we've got fresh tortillas. Fresh tortillas complete. These are pretty. Okay, where's my pinchers? We're gonna lay all these guys down. It's not rocket science, just gotta lay them down. Oh yeah. Spoon on that marinade as well. Sprinkle on a little bit of that cilantro. Just decorate everything with your serrano peppers because serranos are good. Then we've got our little cumin and pistachio crunchies on top because why else did we make this? Oh boy. Charred and marinated bell peppers. Isn't that pretty? Almost as pretty as your mom. <laughs> now for the best part. Mm, fresh tortillas are awesome. Just grab one of these. Oh yeah. Huh. Don't sleep on a fresh tortillas. Mm. You just grab a pepper, a tortilla, that's it. Come on. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Okay. Perfect little grabbing tool. Mm -hmm. Some cheese would be awesome in there too. Make some tortillas with that. Mm. Bye friends. Eat me.